Stan Jamalisco here from the Nerd Castle Kitchen. <clears throat> Can't do a video outside right now. We've got a thunder shower in progress here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'd just uh, like to continue the uh, daydreaming, as it were, about the net metering uh, law that supposedly uh, is about to be passed in the state of Oklahoma, having to do with charging customers for installing their own solar panels or wind turbines in conjunction with a grid intertie or net metering system. Um, it seems to me that rather than inflame the passions of these people by making it look like they're charging them for this, why don't they just adjust the net metering rate that they pay back to customers for selling extra energy to them. They, there are a whole lot of issues here that I guess are kind of beyond me that I don't fully understand. But I am a little troubled, as I've said before, by the idea that the state could get involved in passing laws that allow corporations to do these kinds of things, which border on telling people what they can do on their own property. Now, I, uh, in my video um, in regards to the brainstorm for the Long Wave Ranch, where I would install a standalone hybrid solar and wind power system, um, and also take advantage of the electric utilities, powering only the essential items with the solar and wind standalone system, which would be able to operate whether the utility was functioning or not, primarily involving the furnace and the pellet stove, which would then provide heat to the house even when the power went out. You know, pellet stoves have blowers in them that require electricity, and furnaces have blowers in them, in addition to electronics, that require electricity. So I would want to be independent of the grid for that and also for my lighting, for my ham radio equipment. You can use light emitting diode bulbs and save a tremendous amount of energy uh, that way and make a hybrid solar system which is quite modest, <clears throat> function very well. Excuse me. Got to have something to keep my Diet Mountain Dew cold, though. So I'd have to have a small refrigerator also, you know, one of those little one cubic foot things. And in case there were any pharmaceuticals, I don't take any pharmaceuticals, actually, the, uh, any prescription drugs that require ref refrigerator. Well, yes, I do. Acidophilus, They're, that's not a prescription drug, but it does require refrigeration. But the, the idea is that these systems are separate. There is a firewall between them. The utility company doesn't need to know that I'm even doing this. They don't need to know. I'm still buying electricity from them. I'm just a very, very conservative user of electricity when I get my bill. You know, when they look at my bill, they'll say, how do you how do you use so little electricity? And I just, well, I'm an environmentalist and a conservationist. That's how. But I don't have to tell them what I'm doing. But here's the rub. The state of Oklahoma wouldn't tell me that I had to pay the utility company anything for a system like this. I don't think that law says that. Yet. But the problem with things like this is that it's just one step away from having a state inspector come into your house and see whether or not you are using a system like the one that I have described. And then if you are to charge you for the use of electricity that you generate entirely with a system of your own design, construction, and ownership having nothing to do with the utility, tied into the utility in no way whatsoever. The state of Oklahoma, I don't think, would do that yet. 
But this is where I am concerned that when you start in with stuff like this, it's only a matter of time before you will in fact have state officials knocking on your door and if necessary they'll get a warrant to inspect your home see whether or not you're doing things like that. Past that, I can see the day when there's a meter on your toilet paper dispenser. I can see the day when there's a camera in your kitchen, when there's a camera on your thermostat or some other device that will actually be able to tell whether or not you are using your thermostat in accordance with certain regulations designed to benefit certain companies. We need to be extremely careful about stuff like this. That is my opinion. And I will confess, although I, on paper, am a Republican, I really consider myself to have a very wide and strong and prevalent libertarian streak as well. All I can say is, if the government gets to that point, you'll find me somewhere up in the wilderness of Alaska. And yeah, sure, you can come to my property and inspect it. But there are an awful lot of grizzly bears around those woods. <laughs> oh my, you know, I don't know if I'll ever do anything like that. I'll be so old, I'll probably be in some kind of assisted living facility. And then people will tell me everything to do. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get that old, to tell you the truth. I hope I can keep my health. How about you? I'll sign off for now. I've rented enough, but I hope I've made a point. We gotta watch. I believe it was Thomas Jefferson who said, The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. It's always been thus. So long.